and news reports brought to you here on the sub wave band broadcasting around the galaxy around the clock. And we'll be saying a big hello to all intelligent life forms everywhere. And to everyone else out there, the secret is to bang the rocks together, guys. As the Big Z finally flipped. All right, this is, uh, this is probably one of the most important videos that I have ever made. Um, so I will drink the most important drink to me. I don't know what the world did before this. <laughs> mm. I love this stuff. This is not what makes me fat, by the way. It's more the eating part. <laughs> All right, now. This is the a very important video, I think. Um, I never understood the meaning of having your cake and eating it too. Um, there's some discussion of what it actually means. Uh, but I had one of those kind of moments uh, when I started university in my first year, actually, in, uh, in business, business uh, course. Uh, we have this kind of triangle, and I'm going to show you a picture. And on the triangle, you had quality, price, and time. And... Um, Basic theory dictates that you can only have two. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can only have two. You have to choose quality. You have to choose price or time. But if you, let's say, you have a product which is of a very high quality and you want to make it in a very short time, it's going to be expensive. If you have something that is uh, very inexpensive and you want to do it fast, you can't have a good quality. And I always thought that's bullshit. So I'm sorry. I always thought that is um, not so clever. <laughs> Uh, I think it's wrong, actually. Um, I will actually show you a system, and I believe the system will work. I, might, I may be wrong, maybe I'm just a fool, but I will show you a system where I believe we can cram much more. We don't need a triangle. We can do a, uh, what is it, is it a hexagon? I think it's an hexagon. Um, we can do a hexagon uh, with things on there. And uh, there's going to be some stuff on there which you think, well, like, no, the company cannot exist if they do anything like this. I will tell you we can, and I will tell you that there's only one thing we have to sacrifice to do it. Now, going back to the triangle, any company has to make profit. That's, that's a given. I mean, you can't operate on not having profits. Uh, and in order to maximize the profits, you have to kind of select two of those three um, endpoints for the triangle. Um, what can we do if we don't go for profit? We can actually put six points, six endpoints into this equation. So we still have quality, price, and time. Now, quality, the highest quality we can get. Price, the lowest price we can get. And I mean the lowest price we can get. Our company has the goal of creating, with every single release of what we will be doing, and this will be on the 21st of December, but every single release we will be doing, we want to have a higher quality, we want to have a lower price, and we want to have it in a really, really short time. Okay, so, so far so good. We can actually do this in a triangle without the other three, but I like the other three better, so we kind of put them into this hexagon. Now, um, if somebody actually got a business model that would work like this, uh, that would definitely not talk about it, right? Because that would be crazy. Yes, it is. So transparency is number one. The company we will be running will be 100% transparent. We will tell you, uh, what we spend our money on. We will tell you how we invest it. We will tell you how we run the business. We will show you, we will stream live our business meetings. The only thing we will not do is kind of like personal issues, of course, or employee issues, but everything. We will, we will stream talk to clients. We will stream talk to suppliers, right? You can watch 100% what we will be doing. Um, and we want the customers the community to be involved, and that means you. So in our board of uh, people that make decisions, and there's basically just one level of board and uh, we all have the same vote, the community, that means you, will get one equal vote. You will not get it, you're not gonna get a real profit share, like a personal profit share, but yes, you will get your vote, okay? Um, and uh, there's not gonna be any secrets. So that's number one. Transparency is the fourth corner point of a little hexagon. Um, now, okay, now we've done this and okay, let's see if this really works and it's really powerful, but what are all the small competitors doing? I mean, there's uh, some really, really small companies and they don't really make that much money. They don't make that much profit. I mean, if you're painting miniatures for a living or if you're sculpting for a living, you know exactly what I mean. 
Um, now, that would be very dangerous for those guys, right? Well, let's put number five on the hexagon. Helping competitors. Yes, that is right. We are going to help our competitors. Why? Because we want to grow the community. We want to make the market a bigger market. Uh, I think every single person in the world should be painting a miniature. I think the world would be a better place if they did. So, um, um, the details of this I will of course reveal later, maybe even next year. Uh, but we have some really crazy plans uh, for all of the competition out there. So if you have a small hobby store, if you are a large company, let's say you are the largest miniature manufacturer in the world, which whose name I will not utter here. We will not utter the language of Mordor. <laughs> but, um, no, I love you guys, sorry. But, um, so helping the competition is a, is a key factor. And uh, not only helping the competition, but also helping um, like small, smaller businesses, like somebody who's painting miniatures for a living, somebody who's painting armies for a living, somebody who's building terrain or sculpting for a living. So we want to give back to those guys. So that's number five. And then I think there's one thing that is missing in most companies today, um, starting from the biggest one. And I think this is actually the reason why we are on the financial crisis right now. And that is the social responsibility, or as we call it, sustainability. Sustainability, there's like business lectures on sustainability everywhere. And people don't understand what it actually means. Nobody understands what sustainability means. Uh, sustainability can only be achieved on a global scale. You can't do it in a company, you can't do it in a country. You have to look at the big scale, the big picture first. So what, what do I mean with, I'm gonna start with the simple part, with the social responsibility part, and sustainability will deal with it next year maybe. So, um, social responsibility, um, charity, and employees. Um, our company will give a fixed percentage um, to charity. We will support um, basically two kinds. Uh, we got two kinds. We got one love and others. Um, no, we have uh, two kinds of um, uh, social, um, um, what do you call it, uh, charity organizations that we will support. Uh, one will be One Love, uh, it's the Bob Marley Foundation. Uh, the reason why, uh, but like, why, why we, not I, but why we will support uh, them is that um, many of the ideas we had, we had while listening to Bob Marley. <laughs> um, my best buddy, he just loves reggae, and uh, that's, we didn't not only listen to Bob Marley, we listen to all kinds of reggae, so that's kind of only music he will allow me to listen to as well. Uh, maybe some some heavy metal as well at, at times, but, um, but um, that's what we uh, uh, that's what we listen to. So uh, we will give uh, a fixed percentage uh, to one love, and I will talk about uh, this more in the next video. The second half, the other fifty percent, basically, we will give to um, any other kind of uh, project, uh, and you can actually um, choose with us who we are going to give the money to. So um, the second part is uh, not charity organizations, uh, but uh, the employees. Um, there will be another video on my views on the uh, distribution of responsibility and uh, between, between the boss, the owner of a company and the employees. Uh, I have realized that the company owner in many instances is the dumbest of them all. And I think the world would be a better place if most bosses would realize that they are, that they can't do without their employees. Uh, once you realize that, um, you know that you need to treat your employees right because they are the ones who feed you, right? Well, and feeding me, that's quite a task. So uh, I, want to, I want to treat them really well. And uh, I will talk about more about, uh, on this uh, also in a different video. It's not going to be today, it's going to be too much, but uh, in the next couple of days. So yeah, so this is kind of what we're trying to do. We're trying to do this hexagon. Now this doesn't really re reveal the give a um, And that's going to be now. Um, I have um, decided that I will take no profit out of this company. Uh, not only that, um, I have invested a significant amount of money into this company. I've uh, invested a significant amount into the uh, first two releases of our product. We'll talk about more about release and uh, release schedule in the next couple of days. Um, it is a rather large sum. It's uh, uh, it's more than 4,200 euros. Uh, it has to do with 42, but it's not 4,200. Um, and that's basically my gift to you guys. Um, I think we can make this work. 
Of course, I will need your help as well. I, I think uh, that's, that's clear. But I think we can make this work. Um, there will be more that you will see in the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Die Teile auch nochmal. So, I haven't really revealed anything yet what the give a what is. And uh, I, there was, I think, about four or five hundred people who tried to guess what the give a what is. It started from a, a limited card to a limited miniature to a box set to a full collection of something and so on. And I actually thought about giving away my Reckon collection, which is almost complete. That's not quite complete. Uh, I actually thought away about giving away my car because I really don't need it here in Berlin. Uh, but those are just kind of mundane prices. I don't think that's really... It, it makes one person happy, but not, not everyone. So um, I'm gonna just give away my company. How about that? Um, what does this mean? Um, I have invested a quite significant amount of money into this company already. Um, bought all the equipment, uh, bought all the product, we paid the people that work with us very, very, very well, I think. Um, and um, I will continue to do that um, for the next year. I will finance everything. That means um, we will have five releases next year, maybe six, we'll, we'll see. We'll have five releases of products, so there will be five or six viable products of a very high quality, of a very low price, in a very fast time with the transparency, social responsibility, and helping the competition all together. Oh, yeah, I know this is amazing news. I, I would be, I would be falling over, <laughs> face palm. Um, sorry, but um, um, I will do all that. Um, I will finance it for the full next year. Um, we will um, uh, employ uh, some of the most talented people. Maybe you, uh, if you are a sculptor, if you are a painter, um, if you paint armies, if you paint a showcase, um, uh, talk to me. I mean, I know most of you anyways, I will talk to you, you know I will. But uh, yeah, that's that, so I'm going to be financing that. Um, and on top of that, I hereby pledge that I will take absolutely no profit out of this company. Nothing. Uh, what I will do is I will pay my rent, which is not very much. Uh, I will pay all my insurances. And of course, everything that I can, that is kind of tax deductible, would be kind of insane not to put it into the company. Uh, like all the equipment is tax deductible. It just basically helps us keep more profits. But other than that, I will not take a single penny that includes food. I will not or go to the movies or buying new miniatures. I will find other ways of financing that. I have more ideas. I said I'm going to make a company that makes companies. But this first company is my gift to the community. Excuse me. Sorry guys, I just had to uh, gather my thoughts here for a second. Um, this is really, really important to me and uh, it kind of moved me. Um, so I kind of lost my voice there for a second. But yeah, it's my thank you to you guys. Uh, I love the miniature community. I love the painters. I love the gamers. I love the nerds, <laughs> the, the d and players. I love all these guys. Uh, this is a thank you to my families. Um, yes, it's my families, of course, my family. Uh, but then I have a second family in, uh, uh, in uh, Germany. I have a second family in uh, America. I have a, my best friend there is uh, like a brother to me. Um, I have uh, some awesome friends in Japan. Um, I have friends from all over the world, basically. Um, Austria. Uh, I think the only place I really don't know anyone yet is Africa. So, um, hello, Africa. <laughs> uh, contact me. But um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's my thank you to, to all of you. And it's my uh, very special thank you to Douglas Adams. Um, trying to find the question to which we all know the answer, 42, for, in case you don't know, but trying to find the question um, gave me a lot of answers. And, uh, no, sorry, trying to find the answer gave me a lot of questions. I think that's probably the better way to phrase it. And um, I think I found some pretty cool stuff. And you'll see more of this, right? So, 
end of this, this is the give award. I'm going to give away my company to you guys. Um, I know trust has to be earned and this is my way of showing you I don't mean evil. <laughs> What's a Google motto? Isn't that we're not evil or something like that? It's kind of like what we're thinking as well. And um, I am pretty sure that you will enjoy our product. Again, on December 21st is going to be the day where we're going to release, release and reveal the product. And I know I would buy it. And not just one box. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> but uh, I hope that some of you will like it as well. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you probably tomorrow. All right, take care.